No, it's not Friday, but we've got plenty of football to go around tonight. Shane right here with Yanni Karakis as we kick off week four of the high school football season, moving our Friday night show to tonight. Almost 20 games mm. on the schedule, Yanni, including teams from our area. Yeah, the Palm Beach County School District and some others moving their games to Thursday to recognize Rosh Hashanah, which begins Friday evening. So a full slate of games on this Thursday. Yeah, that includes our game of the week, number six, Palm Beach Central, making a trip out to the month to face a hot Pahokee team who's won their last two games after a season opening loss to Santa Lucis. Well, let's go to the highlights. Pahokee, the only team to beat Central in the regular season last year. Opening drive for the Blue Devils. Fourth down, Henry, J.J. Boyd looking end zone and Harley Gilmore. Nice play broken up by Niedrich Bolden. He waves the finger Matumbo style. Pahokee makes it count on their next drive. Boyd over the middle to Michael Brown Jr. And what could Brown do for you? He can get into the end zone. 6-0. Home team gets some daps on the sideline. Back come the Broncos on offense. Daquan Wright scatters in for the touchdown run. And this game is tied. Second quarter. Check out the creative play call from the Blue Devils as they flip it out to Janoris Wilcher. He goes the distance to put Pahokee up. Back and forth all night. Palm Beach Central goes on to win a thriller in overtime. 33-27. Niedrich Boldrin. Bolden, excuse me, with the game-winning TD in Anquan Bolden Stadium. The name fits, Shane. There you go. Yeah, exciting night. Number four, Benjamin, meanwhile, looking for some get-back after losing to Gulliver Prep last season. Both teams undefeated so far this year. That would change tonight. Benjamin opened up a huge 42-0 lead wow. in the first quarter. On defense, Amari Williams with a sack has offers from Auburn, Florida State, and Florida Bucks get the ball back. They hand it off to Phoenix Dungia, and he has some blockers out in front, and Phoenix is going to take flight down the sideline into the end zone. Benjamin up 49-0 in the second quarter. Gulliver trying to figure out what hit him, trying to do anything to put some points in the board, passing the ball down the field, but it's into a crowd, and Ooh. Jacob Cosby Mosley, the Wake Forest commit, comes away with the interception. Benjamin just dominates previously unbeaten Gulliver 49-0. All right, now the two schools that struggled out of the gate this season so far. Palm Beach Gardens out in the Glades to face a winless Glades Central team. The Gators did beat Dwyer on last Saturday after losses to Atlantic and Vero to open the season. Raiders trying to improve on last year's two-win season. Gators up 7-0 at the half. Opening kickoff of the second half. Short kick, and that's trouble for the Raiders. Gardens jumps on it and they take over. Cashing in on the ensuing drive, Keon Stevens fakes the handoff, keeps this one himself straight into the end zone. Gardens makes it a two score game, 14 nothing. Here come the Raiders. Taj Barnes at quarterback, he has some space, but oh no, runs into the referee. He's like, come on man, come get on, out Blue. of my way. More from Gardens, Stevens finds Gavin Newby, and Newby isn't new to the end zone as he gets in there and Check out the celebration. I think he got flagged, but it didn't really matter. Palm Beach Gardens wins 35 <laughs> nothing. That's not the first time. It must be one of the things kids are going doing these days. All right, Royal Palm Beach not only getting their first win last week, but scoring their first points of the season against Suncoast. They're at winless Wellington tonight. We pick things up early in the third quarter. Wellington leading 16-7, and that Wolverine defense on the prowl. They swarm the quarterback, and Azek Quintana comes away with the sack. He's happy about that. The Wellington offense would then get the ball back and they're driving, they air it out on fourth down, but look at this one-handed grab there, the interception by Jahari Treasure Walker. The ref call him out of bounds though, it's turnover on downs either way, so the Wildcats take over. Wildcat offense now on the move, trying to get something going. Cameron Lewis gets the ball out to Emerson Dort. He makes some nice moves and moving the ball up the field, but look, uh. the ball pops loose, the Wolverine defense recovers and we flip possessions once again. The offensive stall or defensive battle, which way you look at it, it continues as the Royal Palm Beach defense takes their turn, sacking the quarterback. A defensive showdown here in the second half, but Wellington picks up its first win of the season, 16 to 15. All right, Jupiter trying to bounce back after a 10 point loss at Martin County last week. The Warriors hosting Suncoast. First quarter, Corey Fountain on the run and he says to this defender, get out of here. Just tosses them to the side, giving the Warriors a first down. Moments later, Luke Douglas finds his brother, Preston Douglas. Nice pitch and catch, corner of the end zone, just like in the backyard. 
Warriors putting up points all night in a decisive 49 to nothing victory. We're just getting warmed up here on Football Friday. Coming up after the break, a battle on the TC as Martin County tries to upset undefeated Treasure Coast and Seminole Ridge travels to Palm Beach Lakes. That and our play of the week plus more. Talking about the scoreboard when Football Friday returns. Benjamin, cheerleaders happy about their big win tonight over Gulliver. Yeah. Welcome back. Our Thursday edition of Football Friday, number three, Treasure Coast, starting the season the exact opposite how they started last season. Remember, they were 0-3 mm. playing those three tough teams, but they're 3-0 and so far this year. Yeah, the Titans' first win last season came against the same Martin County team they faced tonight in Stewart. 4S District 12 opener for both teams. Tigers coming off back-to-back -back wins. Second quarter, TC up 7-0 on the punt return. Cam Harris. Nice return, putting the Knights in good field position. We know TC loves to run the ball. They can also throw it this year. Amar Atwell to Gabriel Avon to extend the TC score to 14 0. Treasure Coast defense getting behind the line of scrimmage here and getting to the Martin County quarterback. Then Atwell again through the air, finding his guy Gabriel Avon for another Treasure Coast score. TC with a impressive victory, 35-12 over Martin County. Seminole Ridge undefeated and has shut out their last two opponents, Hawks at Palm Beach Lake tonight. A very improved Palm Beach Lakes team. The offense looked good early though. First drive, Roberto Venero on the handoff, hits that left corner for a nice game before he's knocked out of bounds. Same drive, Hawks keep it on the ground and go back to Venero, makes a couple good moves here. And hey, Venero has a first down in Rams territory before Finally getting taken down by a host of other Rams defense. And then the Hawks, they're going to switch things up here. We ran a little bit. Here we're going to throw it. Dylan Reed back to pass. Mm, nice He's ball. got Marquand Griffiths on the other end for a Seminole Ridge touchdown. That looked good. The Hawks stay undefeated and win it 34-0. They've outscored their opponents this season 105-9. to Wow. Yeah, impressive. 
Wire hosting West Broward Panthers still looking for their first win of the season. Down 9-3 at the half. The offense is struggling to get things going. So head coach Al Shipman says, how about some trickery? Fake punt, it works. Dylan Ely's off for a first down and then same drive. Derek Flanders over the middle mm. to Ely on the third down. Makes a guy miss, does his best, the best he can to get that first down. Dwyer though has to punt. Wes Broward takes over. Jonathan Morello over the middle to Joshua Moore, a three-star athlete. He has offers from Auburn, Florida, and Florida State. Big 6-4 wide out with the first down. And then Moore, the big 6-4 wide out with a touchdown. Wes Broward is going to go ahead and win this game 23-3. Panthers drop to 0-4. All right, our play of the week coming from that Seminole Ridge game. You just saw that win over Palm Beach Lakes. Dylan Reed back to pass sideline. Marquand Griffith, incredible catch as the Hawks get the victory 34 to 0. Take another look. To the scoreboard we go. Yeah, four games in and still no team has scored on Jensen Beach. Beating Shane's alma mater, Stoneman Douglas. Come on, nothing. Eagles! Falcons 4-0 on the year, and they have Benjamin next week. Game of the week potential for us. St. Andrews gets its first loss of the season following on the road to Nova 14 to six. After losing to St. Andrews last week, West Boca bouncing back with a 42-3 win over Fort St. Lucie. And as we keep going here, American Heritage Delray improves to three and one with a 23-14 win over Pinecrest. How about Spanish River staying undefeated with a 28-20 win over Park Vista? Also staying undefeated, Atlantic making quick work of Boca with a 44-14 win. Lake Worth picking up its first win of the season, beating Olympic Heights 24-8. A little college football action from tonight. Number 22 Miami hosting Bethune Cookman. 7-0 Canes lead in the first, but not for long. AJ Allen takes the handoff right up the middle for the easy score. Canes takes a 14-0 lead. Allen was just getting warmed up. Third quarter. Another handoff. Another touchdown. Beating the defender to the pylon. Miami rolls for the 48-0 victory. All the highlights you just saw will be on our website shortly, WPBF.com. Hey, Yanni, the real MVP tonight, battling those bugs in Pahokee, man. Get those things. Those bugs are town. legit in Pahokee. Get me out of this town. That was <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week. And tomorrow night we got some football, too. We'll see you back.